Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Soul Blazer. Last time we just started up, did a few things in that there underground castle, and now we're gonna have to keep doing it because I was. I gotta find some like dream rod or something in here. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember exactly. I thought I got everything when I was here last time, but I guess I didn't. We'll find out. We'll the elevator. So there's this, but you can't... Like, that's... I'm pretty sure that's where Dr. Leo's paintbrush is. I'm pretty sure that's what's in that chest. So once we get the dream rod, we go into what's her face's dream, and then she opens this path. I'm trying to figure out where the heck the. And then you can kill the guys that are down there, which you can't get to now. I mean, I could probably kill them, but then I wouldn't be able to step on the switch, so it would be meaningless. Mm hmm. <laughs> Screw you, I'll walk against the grain, bitches. <laughs> At least just go around to be easier, because I wouldn't have to be walking against this shit, but... Did I just miss something up here? No, there's nothing I missed. Maybe I missed something up here. Did I? Maybe. No, it's just all these. It's really weird. Hmm. Maybe there's something about that thing? No, I just came from there. Anyways, I am such a derp, so... I will just uh, go ahead and cut to whatever, wherever the hell it is I'm supposed to be going right now, since I can't seem to remember. And then I'll be back, so... See you guys in a few. Hey guys, I'm back. Looks like I somehow... I'm actually back in the first area of the underground castle. Looks like I somehow managed to forget an entire monster slayer over here. I believe this might... this would be what I'm looking for. Yeah, what do you know of the dream rod? Alright, I'm done being an idiot. Anyway, since I didn't show you before, and I just kind of thought of it. If you push start, it'll show you where you are, and it'll also show you how many monsters layers are left, so if you do something stupid like I just did and can't figure out why you didn't find the thing you know you're supposed to find, then you just look at that, and then all will be revealed. Well, not necessarily all, obviously. You'll just know that there's something else you need to do. I didn't know where it was, I was just like, well, maybe there's some in the first area, because I walked around that sec that walked around that second area for like five minutes. It's like, where the hell is this? Uh, anyways, hopefully that's all the fail we'll have in this video. Who's to say, though? Who's to say, indeed? Alright. Now, equip our new dream rod. And heal up just because. Why are you still standing here on this bridge? You gotta have something else better to do. And when we talk to her with the dream rod equipped, we put it on her head and go inside her dream. 
Screw Inception, this game did it all well, way before. Hey Lisa, what's up? Yeah, I don't know. Nothing important here, all I gotta do is step on the switch. And then you go back in the real life. Then she tells you about her dad. <laughs> Get out of my house. I have an incredibly short temper. Yeah, I was there and you were standing in one tiny little room and then I stepped on a switch. Yeah, totally just happened. Okay. Sweet. Because I totally already know where it is. This is the only place it could possibly be. <laughs> in that last monster's lair in the second area. So I want to check something. It's been a while since I want to see if it, like, in yeah. If you equip it, you equip the medical herb, it's just like, it's like a fairy in Zelda. It'll restore you if you die. Like, you don't have to use it. When just when your HP hits zero, it's like, oh, you're back alive. Nice. No, 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 see? This the barricade is gone. Could we hit that switch that all of a sudden is there, even though it wasn't there before? <laughs> and... Leo's brush. And take care of the monster's lair too, because why not? I'm sure it's probably important in some way. Another old man. Question is, would be quicker to get over to the frickin' crystal? Probably is, yeah. Well, not if I'm doing that. Yeah, I think it's probably quicker to get over the crystal than just walking all the way out, because you're, either way, you're walking on these against the green people movers here, so. Not here, though. When she says that, she kind of makes you... You kind of assume that she means you're going to meet them in this castle. You know, but you're actually we're completely done there. You're, you're like not going back there again. The second uh, section of the game. Second section of this area coming up once we show her the paintbrush. No, I swear he finds on the dog. Turbo the dog, Lou the dolphin, Gnome the snail, and Mary the Mary the doll. Well, I wouldn't say a doll is a pet, but of course, it's totally what I would do. Yeah, Turbo is a kind of a running reference in all three games. The other ones aren't really referenced again. Lou the Dolphin, Gnome the Snail, and Marie the Doll, but in this game there will be one of them in like every every of the areas. Or at least most of the areas. Is it in every area? No, because I don't think there's one in the, in the next area. The next area is like the forest area, and I don't think there's one there. Oh, no, that's where Turbo is. Because there's not one here. Yeah, I remember now. 
Yeah, one of the one of the animals isn't here. They're all in the next four areas. And then, since we've been up here, actually, let's go talk to that old man I just brought back. I forget if he has anything interesting to say or not. He totally looks like an old man too. Oh yeah. Oh, didn't need to. Didn't mean to do that. There's a whole uh, nice little scene with the. We already talked to him, I just want to see if this was the goat I was looking for. It's not, I think you get that goat in the next area, but... Nope, since everyone's saying he, like, he got swallowed up by the painting... You equip... He has paintbrush... And you look at this painting... And we get dragged into the painting, oh noes. This is the second area. dungeon section of this level. Big gem. How did I kill that one first? I don't know. Since obviously the town wasn't completely built yet. Tulips, the most important thing known to man. Get rid of that little barricade, and then... Wow. These things aren't important. Actually, I think these are actually technically monsters. The other ones that we found in the underground castle didn't count as monsters, but these ones do. They have their own lair, even though they don't come from it. You'll find that more more as we go along. More monsters don't technically just come from the lairs, but if you kill them all, you can activate their, you can, you know, activate the effect of their lair, so to speak. And that opens up the way. Uh, again, it's nice to just kind of... Ah, bitch. Forgot these guys threw spears. I was going to say it's nice to... Manipulate their movement patterns like I've been doing, but that one totally got me. I was like, I thought I had it, and then nope. Chuck Testa. Ah oh, yes, the lonely goat. That's the one I was talking about. That has that the other guy was talking about also. You'll see what I mean with that one as we go here. Hmm, probably should do something different with that one. Completely unnecessary, I think. I don't, I don't think that was necessary at all, but I, I don't remember whether it was or not. Ivy. So many Soul Caliber characters. <laughs> I don't know. What's in here? No, it's a medical herb. Basically, if you find a medical herb in a chest while you've already st while you've still got one in your inventory, it will just heal you fully, which is nice. You don't just, it doesn't just waste it. That was a good design choice by the developers. Uh oh. It only fires the fireball the way you're looking. Alright. See if I can manipulate this guy. Yeah. He's got nothing. Yay, level up. Sweet, I can hit for two on these guys now. Not really that beneficial to grind in this game. 
these are guys they were talking about. You're gonna have to come back. If you can hear, kind of make a metally metally noise. You can't kill them yet. You'll have to come back to be able to access that monster slayer. And I think there's one later, later in this area. Yeah, there's one in this in this room. Yeah, like I was saying, grinding isn't really necessary really at all in this game. You just go through killing everyone that you see and you pretty much will be at a, at a, at a good level. Which is nice. And you, you could grind if you really wanted to, but there's really not too much reason to. Because like I said, you, if you just do everything you're supposed to do, as you're supposed to do it, you're going to be at a good level. Weird eyeball blocks. A little creepy, I'm not going to lie. Boy, has a tiny little outhouse. How you guys been doing lately? Like, I haven't really been doing too much. Yet. Kind of, you know, just kind of chilling. Like I said in the last video, I have a, I have a vacation I'm gonna be taking. Probably won't do much. Just kind of sit around the house, maybe record some stuff, play some stuff. Like I've been playing Persona 4 lately. Just. Even though I haven't, I haven't even, like, I've never even played it before, and yet I'm trying and doing, like, mech social link run, because I'm crazy like that, I guess. Because <laughs> why not? Obviously, it's not going as well as it could, but... Considering I just don't know everything about the game already, and that kind of... Because the guy kind of assumes that you know when certain things are and when you're supposed to get certain things, so I missed a few I missed a few things up, but going pretty well so far and I'm mean, obviously enjoy it. Got about it, like forty six hours or so in it so far. Which isn't really much <laughs> realistically. This is the persona game we're talking about. Pretty good. In like August, I think we're just about to go back to school after summer break. Anyways, as I was as I was talking about all that, we kind of unlocked a new thing. You've seen these before. Usually, you'll find one in like a dungeon. You can go back here, and it unlocks the last one, which is nice because you usually get one near the boss. So, it's very nice. If for no other reason than just the healing, you know. But I think we've we've covered most of it. We're coming up to the boss here, so we can cliffhang you on the boss a little bit. <laughs> so we will go back to town and check out all the stuff we brought back and then take on the boss in the next time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.